Hi everybody and today's vlog comes from my bedroom and no you can't have a look around because it's an absolute pigsty and that is my next task uh, to to attack um, my wardrobe. Um, I, so yeah today I just wanted to see how everybody was getting on and um, how you know I was thinking I've been thinking a lot lately again this is this is trouble with having too much time to think um, what life was like BC that's before coronavirus and what life will be like afterwards and uh, you know how 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 different it's going to be and how we're going to sort of adjust psychologically as well to to going back to being in public places um, hugging each other again I mean I miss that but that's you know I'm quite a huggy well I'm a very huggy person and and obviously I'm you know obviously quite a lot well I'm a lovey so lots of hugs and kisses and mwah, mwah, my darling kind of thing and you know are we gonna go back to doing that again I don't know is it, it might feel really intrusive it might feel really odd um, so yeah that's gonna be quite interesting and another thing I've been and I've said this before but my dreams are getting so so out there I mean properly properly trippy um, I had um, had a dream the other day um, should we say it was some of an erotic nature about Prince Harry um, which I won't go into details but let's just suffice to say it was rather graphic but I mean what the hell does that say about my love life I don't even fancy him I mean oh my god it's just bonkers and I wake up and I'm quite embarrassed actually I think oh god I'm glad people can't see see me or see you know read my mind and I had another one the other day that I was in a local theatre and an usher came over with like, loads of food like big pies it was a pie that was shaped like a tortoise I mean go figure um and he was giving me all this food and then all of a sudden these audience members behind me and some of whom I knew sort of going why are you giving all that? Who the hell does she think she is? She's not a celebrity. Um, and the other they started taking all the food off me. And it was just, and they would say, right, you can only have, you can only have one loaf of bread. And you can only have one pie. And I thought, God, this obviously is, is, is um, linked to obviously what we were allowed to buy when we go shopping. So that was really weird. And then everyone sort of stormed the stage. And it, yeah, again, I was thinking, what is that about? I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not a celebrity. Why, you know, why, why would I be dreaming that? And, and, and some of these people, they were people I knew. So that was really, really odd. So I woke up feeling a bit psychologically scarred from that one, to be honest with you. Um, but I think, I think the reason I'm probably having some really weird dreams as well is that because I'm reading a lot at night. I mean, reading, I looked at all the downloads I've, I've, on my Kindle that I've had since, since, um, since, uh, uh, isolation began and I've read uh, probably on average a book every three or four days you know and that's 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 slow going so I'm just I'm whizzing through all these books and, and and often it's a series so at the moment I'm, I'm just coming to the end of an amazing um, series of books um, where the, the female protagonist is a geologist and she's going all over the world and getting into all sorts of scrapes um, because obviously geology is a, a male dominated profession and uh, everyone wants to kill her or was it very sexist and misogynistic and and the author's great she's called PJ Skinner and um, she she actually was a geologist so she's writing from a position of authority and it's really interesting all these exotic locations um, and to say that the, the protagonist Sam is always always getting into sort of, sort of scrapes and stuff but it leaves me feeling you know I'm like what's gonna happen what's gonna happen next so I don't want to sleep because I want to ha find out what's happening so I'm going to sleep quite stimulated apart from the fact I'm menopausally boiling as well um, so I've got the windows open and the fan on and you know the lightest like four tog duvet I mean which is what I have in the winter as well so I'm, I'm kind of dreading the summer really because I'm going to be even hotter but um, that's the perils perils of the menopause but um yeah as I say all this all this time to read and think is like ooh, making me properly trippy so I just wanted to know how everybody else was doing and it, whether anybody else was having some properly properly weird dreams be interested to know what you're uh, what you're thinking if you're liking my channel please subscribe just go to um uh, below menopause of mummy and click uh, subscribe on the um the bell on youtube um bye for now bye